I'm a member of um, a site called Fighting Tyranny. Um, it's a social networking site, as is um, mine, Convergence, letssavers.ning.com, don't forget. Um, but I received, um, I read something on there yesterday which kind of made me feel a bit, well it kind of made me feel a bit irate actually, um, as irate as I get. <laughs> um, it was about, um, it was entitled um, The New Age Movement and How to Overcome It. Right? And basically the way it's sort of saying, um, it's well it's kind of saying the way that the Bible sort of says about it, right? That basically psychics are wrong, are evil. Not evil, but that that any contact from the other world um is the work of Satan and that is um extensively pumped in the Bible because that's what my Jehovah's Witness lady used used to wholeheartedly believe that like, you know, anything tarot cards and things like that, it, it was evil. Um, and it really sort of, um, it saddens me really, um, because even though I, um, and the Pope's librarian think that the Bible is the words of man, not the words of God, it's man's interpretation of the words of God, Pope's librarian mate, you know I mean, not me, Pope's librarian, um, and me, obviously, um, it's sort of, you know, it's sold to people as, um, as gospel, as the words of God, as all there is. Now, if you research this, you'll find that the Catholic Church have burnt huge amounts of the words that we are meant to be living by. So the Bible isn't full because the Catholic Church doctored it in the beginning. The, what, the bits that, that didn't fit with what they wanted us to learn, they got rid of, right? So technically, surely that means that it's not full and proper as is anyway. This says here, right, there's this conversation in this thing between two traps, Dave and John, right? And basically, David um, been contacting, he'd connected with his divine spirit. And John's like, no, 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 you must believe the Bible, that's it. And then at the end of this little conversation, all right, Dave says, so how do you believe you get to heaven? All right? And John says, Dave, which I think should just have a full stop at the end of it myself, but there you go. By receiving God's gift of salvation, by believing Jesus is the Son of God who died on the cross for our sins. That's how you get to heaven. You don't have to do no. You don't have to be kind. You don't have to be compassionate. You don't have to um, care. You don't have to share. All you got to do is say, oh yeah, I believe that Jesus is died and I'm saved. And then that's it. And I personally think that that I think that we have been right, lied Michael. to. His name's Michael. Michael B. Blay. Um, I, lo I love my Bible. I really do love my Bible. And I spend a lot of time reading my Bible. Even though I don't believe um, that it's... <sighs> what do I believe about it? I'm starting, as time goes by, to believe that perhaps Jesus was a real man. Um because of what he says um, it, there's a lot of truth in what he says um, but I think that we've taken the um, the words that he had to say and man has embellished it and made it what we're meant to be learning what what the people who have put it into circulation have decided will keep us where we want us, where they want us to be, yeah. Now, I wholeheartedly, right, believe in spirit guides in the other world, in in the other world. In, it's not another world, in fact, um, because we're part of a collective energy, universe wide, 
um, souls on souls which are made up of electricity just like our bodies are in a different resonating frequency um they that we sort of we teach each other and we help and whatever now over the past few months i've been fortunate and blessed enough um to uh have the benefit of a psychic in my everyday life um because my best friend had just a few little things so you can find out yourself you know like when you get like a little tickling on the top of your head and stuff like that that's your loved ones just saying hey, here i am you know what i mean stuff like that it's small things like that i've found out now i also believe that um your loved ones your guides and whatever help you on a daily basis um, and they help you to make decisions, they help you to stay strong, they give you love um, and this is all part of what everything is, you know, it's all part of us, like our collective energy um, so even though the body's gone, the heart is still with you sort of thing um, and there has been many, many times in my life when I've opened my mouth and what has come out of my mouth has not been, it's not been me that said it and I've known it because it's, I've said words that like, I don't know, um, you know, and said things that like, I wouldn't say in a million years, do you know what I mean? Um, and, and written things down, like, you know, because I'm, I, I do, I've always loved writing and I write a lot of stuff. And there's been many, numerous, oodles amounts of times where I've just sat there and just written and written and written. When I've gone back to it, I'm like, I can't remember writing that. And it's been really good. And I think that that's, you know, when you sort of, like, give yourself up and, and touch the, you know, allow, connect with the all, I call it, connecting with the all. Now, let me share with you Mark... 12, Mark 13, 11, alright, then these are the words of Jesus, this is why I love Michael, because all the words of Jesus are in red, so, because I always think, well, Jesus is the main theme of the Bible, and so I want to read what it was that Jesus said, so, yeah, so, but, when they shall lead you and deliver you up, Take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak, neither do ye premeditate, but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, that speak ye. For it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. Now, I think that that is exactly what I've just sort of explained. You know, the bit where you sort of like, you tune out, connect with the all, and the all can give you the right things to say at the right time now sometimes you know when you put your faith like that um something will happen you'll be like oh and you'll bugger it up but i think that that is what's meant to happen as well do you know what i mean all about faith really um